Now look, I can't lie. I did not expect to do this video. I literally have already started editing my no money spent video, but then it's Black Friday. So 2K decided to do something special and they dropped these Black Friday packs. Now, unfortunately, the packs can't be purchased with MT. They're VC only and they're also quite expensive, which really isn't Black Friday of them. But the thing that is really good about these packs is literally they have the best players in the game in them. Look at all these pink diamonds that these packs have that has the new Giannis Kevin Durant, every single good pink diamond in the game is in these packs, which makes it so excited. I think it actually might have every pink diamond in the game. I'm not too sure, but still, it's so exciting seeing all those. Then there's also all these diamonds, so many crazy cards in these packs that I really want to open them up and see how we go. There's also amethyst, rubies, and so on. So it should be quite exciting because each pack guarantees a player and there are 20 pack boxes. So I enjoy opening up packs like this. I just hope we can get some good luck. Now also for Black Friday, 2K did put Steph Curry, the pink diamond version on the triple threat online boards. Same with DeMar DeRozan, which is pretty cool. And also D-Rob, the pink diamond version is in triple threat offline. So that's sick. I'm definitely going to try and get him and hopefully do a video on that too but as of right now we're focused on these packs and obviously i bought vc once again so because it's black friday let's try and get 800 likes on this video i know we can do it let's smash it down below anyway black friday packs 202,000 vc is definitely quite a lot i don't think 2k have ever specifically brought out black friday packs so i'm actually quite excited to open these up and see what we get as we get a shake in the first pack and it's only an amethyst, but still, that's a good start seeing an amethyst straight away. So Eastern Conference Center, number 40. Is this Artis Gilmore? No, okay. It's going to be so hard to remember who these types of players are. Bill Lambier, it's actually the masked version. That's good. Because I think his masked version did actually go for a bit when they first came out. So we got another shake in the same spot, make it better than an amethyst. It's just another amethyst, but at least we are seeing amethyst in back-to-back -back packs. Eastern Conference Shooting Guard, number six. Is this Eddie Jones from the new packs? I'm pretty sure it is. And it looks like that's who it is. So a pretty good pull there too. Two from two with the Amethyst so far in the Black Friday packs. We got another shake in this one. And this is make it three from three. Did not really expect this, but hopefully this is going to make the prices of these players quite a bit cheaper, including like Dolph Shays and so on, because a lot of those guys were really expensive. I think this is Drew Holiday, which is actually a really cool card. But yeah, there's so many insane players and we get another shake. What is this? Okay, next one up. We've got four Amethysts in a row in this box so far. I don't love seeing the Amethyst. I wish it was something better, but maybe it's just a sign for what's going to happen soon. Is this going to be Dennis? No, this is Josh Smith. A really good card. Doesn't go for too much though. Are we going to go five for five with shakes? Yes, we are. This time it's a diamond in the middle. These packs are so much fun to open. Did not expect this. Eastern Conference Power Forward number one. I cannot remember who this is either. Miami hit I, I Chris Bosch in what version? Prime time. I'll take a diamond Chris Bosch in pack number five of what is these shakes though are absolutely crazy. I can't believe. Can you even get like rubies in this? I don't know, but Eastern Conference point guard number zero. That means it's going to be, I can, dude, it is so hard to remember. Tyrese Maxey, that's who it's going to be. Very nice. Are we going to get a pack without a shake? That's, that's the, not, uh, I, maybe it's guaranteed. Maybe it's guaranteed to get a shake, but let's actually see a good one. Not yet. We've seen one diamond and then the rest amethyst in every single one of these packs. Western Conference shooting guard number three. That means it's going to be Jordan Poole. It's actually so much fun opening up these packs and trying to figure out who you're getting because it's kind of like you're guessing the card before it even comes into the pack. So another one, of course, and another amethyst. Maybe these are guaranteed. I really don't know, but we are getting so many shakes in these so far. So this is going to be the same. No, it's not the same player we got before. That's Dino Raja. Cool, we'll take it. If I'm able to get one really good pink diamond pool, I will be so happy with this pack opening. So let's see it here. Just more Amethyst. We get Gold Deadeye. This is probably the longest 20 pack box it's taken me to open, which I do love about it. But seeing the Amethyst is really showing that maybe they have to take away the shakes. 
for the Amethyst as we get the signed version of Bruce Bowl. If you don't know, that card has Hall of Fame clamps, so a good pull. But yeah, how long do you think it's going to be until we get rid of the Amethyst Shake? Because we're seeing it so often right now as we get a diamond right there. A lot better than seeing an Amethyst Eastern Conference small forward number two, Jimmy, Jimmy Butler? Is, does Jimmy Butler have a diamond? Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Okay, this is Jimmy Butler. A pretty good pull there. Actually, that's quite a good pull. I'm very happy with that. I've never pulled that card before, so it's very, very... We finally don't get a shake. We just went, what, 10 packs in a row? We get one really good player being Marcus Smart, though. That's crazy how many packs we just got a shake in a row, and it's not even guaranteed. What about now? You show me a guaranteed pink diamond? Yeah, I, th I think this is literally showing right now that we really need to get rid of the Amethyst Shake in packs. It needs to just be a flip ball situation because we are seeing it way too often as we get another Jordan pull. Hey, I'm not complaining though. It's definitely cool seeing a lot of shakes and this one, we actually don't get one. A Ruby again, okay? Number 14. Wow, back to back with no shakes. That's rare. We did get Matisse though. Shout out to Matisse. You gotta love pulling Matisse thigh ball in your packs. Next one up, another Amethyst. You knew it was gonna happen. We get plus three to the three, the gold version of it, but this looks like number 26. Um, Hawks is a Kyle Korver. Yep, somehow I'm actually guessing who these are. I've got no idea how. Because when I was on my little break, I did actually uh, not even open up a couple of packs. So there's some players that I kind of forget that are even in these packs. And Kyle Culver is one of those because I never opened up packs for him. I forgot that he was even in the game. But number 11, that's going to be Kyrie Irving. Hopefully it's the mask version. It doesn't go for too much more, but... It is. That's called C. I'm actually not sure if they even have the non-marks versions in these packs. We'll have to see. Anyway, these packs have been so much fun so far. I want to see a pink diamond though to make it even better. It, we're really just seeing these amethysts and that's it. Eastern Conference Center number 40 is a Dino. It's Pistons, so that means it's going to be the player we got before. Bill Lambeer and it is the mask version again okay so maybe i was right in saying that there's the non-mask versions aren't even in these packs how many amethysts have i pulled in this i'm seriously going to have to count it but the way i'm going to count it is by counting every single pack i didn't get an amethyst that'll be the smartest way because we have pulled so 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 many as we get tyrese maxi this is kind of the way i want a box to go because sometimes they can just go by so quickly and this one is taking a very very long time but it's kind of annoying the fact it's taking a really long time because the players we're getting aren't exactly what we want to see. It looks like this is going to be another Kyrie Irving. Of course, it's going to be the mask version. So Kyrie, thank you. And now for the final pack of this box. I kind of wish they had a topper for this or something like that just to make it a bit more exciting. And in the final pack, we didn't even get a shake. Okay, look at how many duplicates I have. How many amethyst? That's crazy. All right, let's send them all to my auctions. Anyway, we've got enough VC for another 20 pack box. Let's do it. And let's see if that first box was just a fluke with how many shakes we were getting. But really, it wasn't great. We got two diamonds as we're starting this one off with a diamond. So maybe that's a much better sign because I want to see more than just two diamonds. Number seven, I think this is um, Kyle Lowry, which really isn't the best card because he was so common when he was in those primetime packs. We got him again. I think I've pulled about five or six of those Kyle Lowry. So definitely not the worst, definitely not the best. Another Ruby. You know what we want to see though. We want to see these shakes and we want it to be a pink diamond. I don't know what's happening. It's another Jordan Paul. Pulled him so many times, but we'll take it. Get it? pulled him. Wow, we are funny on this YouTube channel. Anyway, next one up, another non-shake pack, okay? Five, hit me with it. Hit me with that pink diamond. Bro, I swear, these packs are awesome to see these many shakes, but they're boring. And you want to know why they're boring? It's because we're just getting like the same players every time. We're literally just getting amethysts or maybe one in, one in 10 will be a diamond, but we need to see a pink yeah, it, again, it's just Amethyst. It's quite frustrating to see, to be honest, but maybe this is the same player back to back. It's not going to be. It's from the Bucks. And like I'm Giannis, I play for the Bucks. That's Chris Middleton. Let's get Giannis in these next ones. How good would it be to see a pink diamond 2K? Just think about it. Just think about how good it would be to put it in my packs. I'm sure not many people are actually opening up these packs because they're only available for 24 hours. So they are quite limited, but I want to see something good out of them at least. This is probably the most amount of shakes you guys have ever seen in a pack opening, but I want to make it good. I, I don't want to just make it 
Amethyst after Amethyst and make that the end of the video. I want to see something good out of it. I think this is going to be another Chris Middleton. So maybe they're just hinting at us that Giannis is coming soon, which would be crazy. So number nine is fine with this pink diamond in this top. Nope. Okay. Just... Just another Amethyst. What a surprise. Have we got this player before? Yes, we have, because it's another Drew Holiday. Skip. Very nice. Halfway through. Another shake. What a surprise. And another diamond. Okay, better than an Amethyst. We'll take it, but we do need to see that a Don't Make a Color is number one. Is this Bulls? Derek Rose. Yeah, it's the Flash version of Derek Rose. One of the first diamonds that came out. Definitely a very cool card. Fun fact, I've actually never used him and I've heard such good things about him. Anyway, very good pull in that one. So let's just improve on that. Let's actually see a pink dime. Back to the Amethyst. You gotta love it. And have we pulled this one before? I can almost guarantee you the answer is yes. It's Tyrese Maxi. There he is. Number 12 now. Another Amethyst smack bang in the middle. At least it's not bringing up the suspense if it's just in the middle because we know exactly who it is. This is going to be another Bruce Bowen and it's going to be the signed version because I'm pretty sure the non-signed versions of cards aren't in these packs. So that's okay, but I just, you know, you know what I want to see. You know exactly what I want to see. A pink diamond. Have we pulled this one? Oh, wow, it's the same player. And there he is. These packs are taking so long to get through as we actually don't get a shake in that one, but 15 will definitely be a shake. I can almost guarantee it. And there's the shake. Make it something good. Flip all diamond okay better once again let's see a good diamond western conference shooting guard number eight is great for kobe bean brian i'm pretty sure that's who it is definitely a very good pull right there that's great man it feels good to pull this for Obi. the dunk toba version too i think that's kobe's only ver well best version of his card in the game so far so that one does actually go for quite a lot which is good and it's always good to see kobe in your pack so number 17 wow we just went back to back with no shakes all right maybe it's leaving the suspense for pack number 18 where it's going to be a pink diamond let's flip all pink diamond alert oh, no just another amethyst of course and number 32 i don't think i've pulled this card i think this is carl anthony towns and it's going to be the signed version if i'm correct let's see the signed car cat yeah crazy to see an amethyst in these packs that we haven't pulled because i feel like i've just pulled every single card another amethyst just like that guarantee i've pulled it number 22 it's another chris milton yep you gotta love it there he is and now for once again the final pack of this 20 pack box no pink diamond so far which is quite quite annoying but we do get another shake to end it off with a bang it's another amethyst bro how many shakes have I got in this pack opening? One of you guys must go below and just comment how many I've got because it is so, so, so many. Is this Macau Bridges? I'm pretty sure it is. This looks like such a good card. Again, look at how many Amethysts we have. Crazy. Maybe singles are the go. I really don't know. Let's hit it and let's see if we can actually get something good out of these. So we are going to continue to get the shakes like we do in our boxes, but let's make it a pink diamond. It's a diamond. So definitely better than seeing just the Amethyst that we were seeing before. West and Commerce point guard number one. That means it's actually going to be Penny Hardaway, which is a pretty good card. It definitely goes for more than like 40K, which is all I want. I feel like these packs are definitely going to crash the market if people know how many shakes you can actually get from them. So next one up, there's a shake in the same corner, this time only an Amethyst. Is this Macau Bridges again? I'm pretty sure it is. So weird that we hadn't pulled him for so long and then we get two of him in like five packs and we've got one more pack remaining after this one. So I hope we can see a pink diamond. This one, we don't even see a shake. That's sad. But hopefully we can end it off with a bang as we're now in zero VC. So end it off with a bang in the Black Friday packs. Please shake for me. Good. Okay. The suspense. The suspense. You know what we're going to do? Give me a bass drop. Give me a bass drop. Let's count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Bang. There's no way. There is no way that just happened. We actually got a pink diamond on our final pack when I did the countdown. There's absolutely no way that just happened. That is one of the coolest things to ever happen in my video. Western Conference point guard number 30, it's Steph Curry. I pulled this card so many times. Let's make it the signed version, not the moments one. And it's the moments one. It's not gonna go for the most, but 
Wow, what a way to end it. I actually can't believe that. That's so funny. But also such a good way to end the pack opening. Because just look at how many duplicates I have in my collection right now. Like this is all from today's pack opening. And then not to mention all the other players that have just been added to my collection. We got so many new ones, so many shakes. It was absolutely crazy. And what a way to end it with that pink diamond pool. So really the question is, should you open up these packs? Really, it's up to you. You can see what they're like. You get so many shakes, but maybe pink diamonds are a bit rare i quite enjoyed them though and i hope you guys enjoyed the video at least be sure to smash that like button down below as no money spent will be out tomorrow and let's see if we can get those 800 likes on this video i appreciate you all so much we're back in business now thank you guys for watching smash that like button subscribe and you follow me on tiktok twitter and instagram and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye